I was like, what's under this box? Let me look. Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. I am a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. I was up here in the Emporium and pulling out certain items to list. I wanted to cross post to all three of my platforms. And then I came over here to the bed that has a mixture of things that are listed and not listed. And I was like, what's under this box? Let me look. And then I looked in the bag and I'm like, oh my goodness. It's another whole set of dishes. Let's get these out. I want to tell you all about them. Let me take them over to uh, my tables over there and get them out. And then we can see what's in the bag. I have bought and listed several sets of dishes and uh, steadily selling them. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh, recently, if you go back and watch my video on the Heinrich, the German uh, dishes, I sold an entire set of dishes to one person, but usually I'm selling them out as pieces because I do list them that way. Now this one I haven't listed at all. And I really want to get all of my dish sets listed because they do move. You know, um, I have sold other sets of dishes, now I think about it, that are made by the same company. But let me open this up and show you what it is. And we'll talk about this and we'll talk more about some of the other pieces that I have that are in a different pattern. So we'll kind of like review everything. Do you guys see that? Do you recognize it? I'm sure all the vintage people are like, yes, I know what that is. Let's start getting it out. Well, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, that is heavy. Looks like some bowls. I got some saucers. I got that one cup there. Lots of saucers. I'm sorry, <laughs> lots of cups I should say lots of cups they're kind of like that teacup look and but it also looks like a mug it's kind of like a little hybrid and then it looks like I have dinner plates in here let me just get this out okay there's nothing else there let me just let I'm gonna let this bag drop to the floor and there we go these are Oh, well, they weren't cleaned from when I got them at the uh, thrift store. So they're dusty. They still have the price tags on them. But you guys recognize this. Isn't that pretty? These are Corel. Made by Corning. They're made in the USA. Uh, these plates... I swear they're indestructible. That's not true, but that's what everybody says about them. <laughs> this is the green blossom pattern. I think just about anybody who grew up in the 70s into the 80s either had a set of these dishes, which came in lots of different patterns, in their, in their kitchen, or when they went over to grandma and grandpa's house, that's how they had them. Because these were very inexpensive. As you can see, it doesn't take up a lot of room. So if you had a small kitchen, but you still needed or wanted like a lot of plates, you can see these don't take up, you know, a lot of room. And uh, so I got this whole set. Now I would have showed you guys this back in the hall, like back when I got this. I know I got it at a thrift store. Um, and thank goodness I leave the price tags on things before I list them. I paid $34.99. It says, well, it has a number 33 there. I don't know what that means. I don't think this is a 33-piece set. Um, but I certainly can count it up and let you know what I have. Now, recently I showed you um, the Butterfly Gold pattern, which is also very collectible. Well, this is another pattern of Corel that is also very collectible. 
And believe it or not, this is the exact pattern that I grew up with. We had everything you could think of in this pattern. You know, we had the, the hook handle teacups, we had the mugs, we had the plates, we had the bowls, and I don't know, whatever else was made in terms of accessories, we had that. And my mom was not one to buy like, oh, if there's only four of us or five of us to only buy five plates. No, if there's five people, well, what if you invite 10 or 15 people over? You're going to need a plate for everyone. So she would have bought like 20 or 30 of these, especially if they were cheap. Like she did not think about like that kind of thing. And we had cupboards full of these you know dishes and of course they went right in the dishwasher they're just so easy to clean that's what's nice about them is i'm sure these have been eaten on washed put through the dishwasher like multiple multiple times and they look just like they did when they were first made now sometimes you'll see on the plates you'll see the fork marks and things like that that can happen um and then some people back in the day, like when when we had these, we didn't have we didn't always have a dishwasher. <laughs> and then when we did have a dishwasher, we still washed things by hand. So we weren't putting everything through the dishwasher because there I don't know. There was also the perception of, you know, that's using too much energy or money or whatever, you know, versus just washing things by hand, um, rinsing them out and things like that. These bowls are nice. Now, recently I showed you a video where I had bought like a whole stack of bowls. So I thought I had gotten butterfly, you know, gold pattern. I thought I got seven bowls and it turned out only four had the pattern on them <laughs> and three were blank. So now I have three white blanks down below. I mean, you can, if you scrub these hard enough, you could get this pattern off. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't suggest that at all. So I'm planning on, um, you know, washing these, getting these all listed up, and I'm going to list them up in sets like the, the plates. We'll see how many plates are here because the other thing is, is these things are so I can barely lift this. Not that I'm a very strong person, but I can barely lift this with my hand. And um, so they're heavy to ship. So what I think I might do is count these up, see how many are here, and then break it into sets of whatever it would be, like four or five, or um, you know maybe if it's ten plates, I might do five and five, or I could do six and four, you know that kind of thing. Um, same with the bowls, I'm gonna break those up. I'm gonna match uh, the saucers with the mugs and sell them as sets. Uh, so I'm hoping that it all kind of works out. In fact, let me stop the, the recording right now. I'm going to count things up and give you a little better um, idea of what's in this set. Okay, turns out there is nine bowls, eight saucers, along with the eight uh, mugs or teacups, whatever you want to call them, and there were eight of the plates. Now, I could, you know, ship this if somebody bought the whole set, just like I sold that whole set of dishes, the, the Heinrich, the German dishes with the red floral pattern on them. Uh, I can certainly do that. I would just break it up into multiple boxes. Now, I have some more corral that I want to show you, so stay tuned. Just real quick, I wanted to show you what it looks like when you have the saucer with the teacup. Or I keep wanting to call it a mug. It just it just is very hearty. Feels like a mug. Um, oh, you know what's funny is this one says Pyrex on it. Hold on, let me see. Oh, these. That's why they look different. Cause there is actually a mug, a, a full on like coffee mug that has this pattern on it. But Pyrex also they did collaborations. So these are Pyrex. Oh, these are, I think, that adds a lot of value to this set. That's an interesting find. This is what I wanted to show you. I've actually never seen this out in the wild. You know, you see the dishes all the time, but you don't always see the accessories. And this is a gravy boat with its underplate. And I paid uh, $2.99 for that. 
And I'm not sure what I'm listing all this up. I just want to do this more as an informational thing to keep your eyes out for it and to know, you know a little bit more about it. Then, ironically, this is, was sitting like this in the cupboard. And when I moved it, I'm like, oh, no, it's another butterfly gold uh, plate. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. Um, I do pick them up like that, and I just add them to the sets. Well, I just redid pictures and descriptions on... Um, the other pieces of butterfly gold that I have for my eBay listing and um, now I'm gonna have to add this to it only if it makes sense I don't want to add just one plate if I don't have any more plates there so what I would like to do is continue to find this and then like if I can find you know another plate and make it two plates or if I can find you know three more would be ideal and have a set of four that would be perfect Corel also made serving platters like this one, and they are so beautiful. Look at this with the flowers and the butterfly. Isn't that pretty? And they even put that little bit of detail on the edge with the green. There's the Corel label on the back. It says it's microwavable. Made in the USA. It always says not to put it on the stovetop. I don't know who, I don't know who was putting dishes on the stovetop. I get it that back in the day people cooked directly on their so stovetops, but once we had regular dishes and I, I don't know, I just don't understand that. But I guess that was a thing, and they still put that on the label. But I picked this platter up. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a good seller or not. Um, for the longest time, I couldn't find this pattern. Um, in fact, now I think about it, I didn't look up what this pattern was to tell you what it was. Uh, it's, I think it's something bouquet or something along those lines. So hold up, let me go look, and I'll come back and tell you what it is. So I checked my listing on eBay, and I just have this up as floral bouquet. And then I did mention the butterfly because some people love uh dishes and they like collecting things that have butterflies on them. I'm wondering if maybe I didn't find the name of this. If you recognize this pattern, let me know in the comments and give me the name of it. Again, I just listed it up as a floral bouquet with butterfly, you know, pattern, um, you know, by, you know, by Corel. Here is another set of corral dishes and these are so cute they have little birds and bird houses the whole way around them sorry my camera keeps going in and out of focus now what's interesting so i have the the big dinner plates and then i have the little bread plates on the back here where it says corral let's see if i can get this to focus for you that says break and chip resistant I think that's why, and of course they're all made in the USA, um, I think that's why everybody calls them as indestructible. <laughs> Although I do know that people have used them, you know, for shooting practice and things like that, just because they, when they find out something's unbreakable, they're like, well, then let's break it, <laughs> which I can't believe people would do that. But you know each his own so these are really pretty and I was just going through my eBay listings and these are not listed up I actually had more of these plates and I had eight of the dinner plates and eight of the, the little bread plates here and I only listed up the first set and I did it as an auction I'm not even sure why I did that well I had two people fighting over the these plates in terms of bidding up that auction and um you know because they are so heavy the shipping was kind of expensive on it too and now that i realize that i don't have this second set listed i'm going to get these lists so now i have to li list up all of these dishes i have to list up this and i have to list up that gravy boat now that one single plate uh, with the butterfly gold on it, I am not going to list that up until I find more of that. And then I have one more uh, little bit of corral to go yet. And then we're going to be all done with this video. 
aren't these adorable? This is the Woodland Brown pattern. I don't know why I'm so attracted to it. I think I like just brown and white. I think that's something that I like. I had found a set of bowls one time at a garage sale and I think I paid like $5 for them and I listed them up and I think I priced them too low. They sold immediately. I think bowls sell pretty well. Uh, people are looking for them for the various, uh, you know, corral patterns and things. Um, they are, I guess, the most useful thing next to, say, a dinner plate. Uh, there is also um, butter dishes and, and all kinds of things that match, you know, all of these uh, different patterns from Corel. So this is what you call the hook handle. See how it has like a hook? This is a hook handle and this is what I consider like the teacup. And they stack pretty nicely. Again, everything about them, it takes up very little space. And then uh, this is just the little saucer that goes with it. And on the back there, there's the corral. Now, I don't know, um, you know, they're still all made by the U in the USA, but I'm sure that it spans, you know, a couple decades. In fact, I know that you can go to the stores right now and buy corral dishes. And let me tell you, they are beautiful. So if you're not into the vintage patterns, go get the new ones and start this cycle all over again. People will be you know, collecting Corel for, for uh, the next hundred years. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> Who knows, these might be around for another hundred years. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put everything back up on the table and just do one last pan and then uh, I think that's everything. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I can't say I'm going to see you later because I'm not done with this video yet. Here we go. Just one last look. There is the green floral blossom pattern. The little bird uh, birdhouse pattern there with the little birdies on it. The floral with the butterflies. This is the butterfly gold. This is the brown woodland pattern. And then we're back to the green blossom plat pattern. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Put any comments or questions down below. I love reading your comments. I will catch you guys later.